This is the big story presented by HerbChambers.com. My name is John Richardson Element. I'm a reporter with the Boston Globe. I'm here today to talk to you about the stunning solution to a 41-year-old murder in the city of Lowell, where the body of a 15-year-old boy was found in a vacant lot. John McCabe's body was found in a vacant lot on Maple Street in Lowell on September 27, 1969. And in the days following it, police were, were reported in the Boston Globe and other uh, news outlets as uh, believing that Mr. McCabe was, was killed because uh, he had some information about uh, drug involvement in uh, Tewksbury. However, in the court papers filed today, that is not the case. In fact, what apparently caused, led to the death of Mr. McCabe was teenage jealousy. Uh, nothing more uh, complicated than that. Lowell police say that uh, three men, um, Walter Shelley, um, Edward uh, Brown, and Michael Ferreira were uh, drinking on the night of September 26, 1969, and driving around Tewksbury. At that time, John McCabe was uh, attending a dance at the Knights of Columbus uh, Hall on Route 38 in Tewksbury. As uh, the three teenagers, then teenagers, were um, driving around, they uh, co conceived a plan to uh, punish Mr. McCabe because he appeared to be uh, talking to uh, Mr. Shelley's girlfriend. This apparently is not a case that's gone, that has been solved through the use of modern day forensics, but instead appears to have been solved by a classic example of guilt. Um, that is to say, in the police report and in the press conference, authorities said that uh, someone had a, an attack of conscience that led them to uh, come forward to uh, investigators and provide the pieces of information that was needed to bring charges in 2011 for this 1969 crime. What we know about the three men today is at this point limited, but we do know that um, uh, Mr. Shelley, Walter Shelley, who uh, uh, was the jealous boyfriend, is 60 years old and continues to live in uh, Tewksbury. Um, the two other men, uh, Edward Brown, now lives in uh, Londonderry, New Hampshire. He's 59 years old. And Michael Ferreira is 57, and he lives in Salem, New Hampshire. 